Hey everyone, so um, welcome to the first um, break room blitz, uh, Chris's radical character reviews. So um, more or less what this is going to be, um, I'm starting out with a pre-sketch here uh, of characters that I, uh, I found very intriguing when I uh, watched any new movies or TV shows that have been, you know, highly anticipated. and. Um, you know, I figure it'd be really awesome, instead of doing a full review on a movie, um, there's always really great concepts that you can pull from movies. And, and characters being one of them, um, characters are a driving utensil to um, how we are guided through the movie. And, uh, you know, we relate to them and we connect to them in several ways. And uh, so we'll be doing Stranger Things today. And uh, the beautiful thing about Stranger Things is that it really, really took us back. Um, so this is my first one. Um, there might be some blunders, so, you know, uh, just just uh, as I go, I'm pretty sure they'll get better. So, um, I did start off with a pre-sketch. Um, I wasn't too confident yet to um, sketch in front of you, and, you know, uh, luckily I, I kind of got this the way I wanted to the first way around. Um, but we're going to go into Dustin and um, why he was my favorite character um, of the series, even though, you know, Mike, Lucas, Will, um, Nancy... You know, that Jonathan, that there's so many great characters. Even even Joyce, um, Winona Ryder, amazing. Like, uh, just, uh, there's a lot a lot of great things about this show. But, um, so, uh, I'm using my, you know, art, you know what, how I sketch, just to kind of go through some, one of my favorite parts. And um, this, is, this is based off the part where um, he offered uh, Nancy a slice of pizza, and she pretty much shut the door on him. And you kind of get the sense of adorability with this with this character. He's just a very happy character. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I'm gonna kind of just clean up a little bit here. I have some offsets on the jacket, but uh, the beautiful thing about Dustin is he is a, a really core support, a supportive character. Um, I honestly feel like he uh, he's not necessarily the glue that keeps the group together. He's more or less the one that really, really lightens up the mood. He, he's that friend that is, um, isn't like essentially the best friend of either of the characters. Um, he's more of, of that main kind of, uh, you know, if, if, if uh, you know, everyone was having a rough time, he's the one to call everyone out on their BS and say, all right. So, like, literally, I know all of you, and, um, you know, I'm, you know, we're, we're a group of friends, but you guys need to calm down and, and get, get this together, because this, this friendship is, is beautiful, you know, like, and he actually did that a couple times in the show, where he kind of just layered that out, and, um, it was, it was, it was an amazing thing, um, <clears throat> in the beginning, they kind of, uh, show how he, uh, you know, is more or less the, uh, comedic value, and how he goes into a panic frenzy, and his, in his panic frenzy, he pretty much says everything that um, you would think to say. You know, there, he, he's like, "Don't be the, don't be the Demogorgon," you know. And he's like, "Oh, if it's the Demogorgon, we're 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 screwed." And it's just, it was it was pretty, it was, it was kind of funny because it's just like you're, you're sitting there going, and like everyone, one of us has one of those friends, and um, it's a it's a brilliant thing to kind of, you know. Um, to see, because you start to relate to these characters immediately. They're sitting there just playing D and D, uh, and um, it's it's uh, kind of funny because I, you know, I, I actually haven't played D and D. I have plenty of friends that have, and I'm more interested in playing now, just because I, I know it's it's fun. Um, I think the time consuming aspect of it is uh, that's one of the reasons why I like pretty much sketching. Um, I, I'm not much of a, a finish artist. I like uh, kind of having fun with just that pre design phase, and but um. You know, when it comes to Dustin, um, during the duration of the show, you know, he proved to be that um, source of uh, home for the group, I guess, so to speak. <clears throat> you know, e each character had their own dynamic. Um, Lucas was more of the realist. Um, you know, he, he was the one that he was, you know, straightforward with stuff. And, you know, it was more or less based upon this is the way I have always perceived things to be. Um, and... Uh, Mike, he, he's, he's more of the optimist. He, he feels like nothing's impossible. He, he didn't give up. And, you know, even, even when he um, 
you know, they saw the, the so-called body of will, um, you know, he still struggled with believing that, but at the same time, it, you know, you're a kid, so it's, it's real to you. And, and they did such a great job. And, um, you know, I, I really appreciated that. And, um, then you, you have, you have Will. And Will's the hope. You know, he's the hope that, um, you know, disregarding the bad situation, you know, you, you can still come out of this and there, there's still hope there. And he's what everyone's fighting for because, you know, he's such a good kid and he has his uniqueness. And you kind of relate to him, you know, with his abusive father and so on. It's just, it, you know, he's got a disturbed brother who's really dealing with his own stuff and kind of coming into his own. He's got the mother that's so preoccupied with everything else that she she starts to lose concept of what she's got in front of her. And and, and but well, no, Ryder did such a great job. But she she's got such love for them, and um, you know it's crazy how it wasn't until like Will's gone that you know she you start to really realize the the concepts of family and you just the show did such a great job of bringing a lot of those elements together. And I love it for that because I feel like a lot of those concepts are missing. Um, and um, Dustin just really helped carry the story and friendship and the bonds. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump into an inking. Um, so right now, just you know, I'm just using a regular little lead pencil with some blue, um, with some blue fills. Um, and uh, what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and ink this guy. Um, I'm not going to go into color. Uh, I'm not that confident yet. <laughs> but... Uh, Next up, uh, I usually use a micron pen. Um, I'm gonna look for my my one pen because it's the finest, and it'll at least help me get the lines in, and then I can go in with some darkers. Um, but uh, yeah, so here comes the scary part because this is gonna discern whether or not I can handle this, you know. Um, <clears throat> back to the back to the Stranger Things. Um, one thing I really really liked about Stranger Things too is it, how it took us back and brought back that nostalgia of true friendship because I feel like a lot of that's really missed in today's world. Um, and, uh, you know, kids nowadays, they're not riding their bikes and these little guys had their, had their bikes all decked out and, um, it was awesome. You know, like when's the last time you've seen kids do that to their bikes, you know? And, and so it's, it's been a lot of fun to, to kind of get this show. Cause I remember when I was, you know, riding bikes and, um, you know, we were decking them out and like, you know, Hey, you put the cards on your bike to make it, you know, kick and it's just simple things as a kid, you know, when you did them were just amazing, and these kids are awesome. Um, you know, uh, one of my favorite scenes with Dustin as well, um, you know, when he, he brought, he honestly, like, a lot of people say that uh, this movie reminds him of the Goonies, and I completely agree. It, it has a lot of those elements in there, but um, if I were to say Dustin were a couple characters in from the Goonies, I honestly say he was mouth and chunk. Um, and the same mix, because he, uh, like, just the overall, you know, comedic sense and, and the, the, you know, straightforwardness from him, uh, you just, you kind of get that sense of Dustin being, like, you know, the funny one, and they also kind of, you know, almost did, like, a, a funny comedic value at that school, you know, like, hey, do this, and, um, he was like, I don't want to do it, and, but, um, yeah, so I, I just, uh, I really enjoyed um, how he, he pretty much brought together that uh, concept of uh, chunk and mouth. And, um, you know, I, I think uh, I think Will more would have might have been the more of the uh, data. Not sure. Um, but uh, uh, you have Lucas, who was who was more of the um, let's see, you have uh, probably the older brother. I'm not sure. Like he, he had some elements of, um, you know, the main character. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you can directly relate it with, um, the Goonies and, and Aliens. I, I got a little bit of an alien sense out of it, too, and, uh, um, I also got some sense of E.T., obviously. Um, uh, the, the, these, uh, these, uh, these kids were just great, and, you know, you have L. um, and one of the scenes, actually, I wanted to go into was, uh, um, that scene where, um, she was just gonna, you know, declothe in front of all the boys, and uh, and Dustin kept gesturing. You know, she's all like, he, he, I think he, they had him gesture like, literally like almost six to seven times of how she was gonna strip off her clothes, and he's like, you guys don't think that's crazy? And it's like, it, of course it's crazy, but I'm not gonna acknowledge it. Like it's just, it was just, it was kind of funny how um, it's just he's like, <laughs> just out there with it. 
Um, there was also that scene where um, Lucas and Mike were fighting, and it was a, it was kind of a turning point to whether or not you know they were going to continue searching for Will. And um, Luke, uh, Lucas ended up getting hurt by Al, and naturally Al didn't want to do it, but she just she saw friends fighting, and that was also a beautiful thing because um, you know Al didn't like seeing that, and it brought back memories, obviously, and it caused her to kind of reminisce about what was going on, and um, and uh, so it's. Um, it was, you know, that the whole sense, and then, and then all of a sudden, like, you know, um, uh, Dustin comes in, and he's like, he's like, all right, no, you guys gotta stop this. He's all, you know, and and this is when the, the whole glue part came in for me. Like, he understood both of these guys to know that they didn't mean what they were doing, and he understood that he can call them on it, and um, I loved that because he he wasn't afraid to do that as their friend. And uh, he's got, you know, those missing teeth. I love that part, you know. Hey, you got missing teeth. You know, it's such a, you know, it's such a small little detail to a character. But it just, it really captivated him. And it was awesome. Um, but, uh, so, uh, I just I really like that part where, um, you know, he called out his friends. And he, you know, just had no problem doing it. And they knew he was right. They absolutely knew he was right. And uh, because of that... Um, it really defines him as as a person who would always be there. You know, it's it's you know we have friends nowadays, and you know some of them are there, some of them are not, and um, it's it's pretty scary to kind of get lost into you know so many things outside of friendships, and you you lose that. And the, these kids, uh, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately they they're not having to live our day to day job where we're so confined with them. You know, moral dilemmas of like, oh man, I have to make money, I have to do this in order to do this. And, um, you know, they, they have the luxury of, you know, just having school, you know, it makes you kind of wish and go back and be like, man, I wish I just kind of enjoyed those, those friendships a little bit more and, and paid more attention to them. But, um, even now you can do that. And, um, I, I would love a friend like Dustin around, you know, I do have friends like that. And, uh, I think that's another thing too, is like, since I do have friends like that currently, it's almost like, um, it's just like, I can think of friends right now that, uh, remind me of him and I, I really in, in enjoy their friendship because they are honest with me like that and they call me out on it and they, they they don't have any problem with saying you know you know hey dude you're really acting weird right now and you know you're being mean and uh you know i know you're having a bad day but you really gotta calm down and you know it just you know you, re you really need to be called on that sometimes because you can get really lost in, in what's going on and and dustin by far isn't an, is an awesome character for that i, I only really I'm looking forward to seeing how he develops as we further go on in the series. And um, uh, I also, I'm looking forward to the new season overall, because the new season, it, it, there's so many questions we have. And, um, you know, the, they ended up uh, capitalizing with uh, Jim going to the, um, going to, with the government officials. And, uh, uh, you know, he's all of a sudden, you know, at the end, taking waffles to this area, and you're thinking, like, whoa, like, that means is Al still alive? Waffles, yes. And, uh, so it just, it's, yeah, there's questions. Um, but, uh, you know, back to Dustin here. So, overall, um, he, he was a very, he was a supportive character. He was the comedic value. He was, he was, you know, a, a protagonist. Um, and, uh, he, he really invited you. He, I think if any of these characters, you were to go up to him, the first one to say hi, it would be Dustin. You know, if you go to a party and, and uh, you walk in a room full of people you don't know, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I honestly feel like Dustin would be the one to be like, hello, friend, welcome welcome to the, the group, you know? And, and uh, uh, I love that, because, like, that, it kind of reminds me of me a little bit. Like, I definitely like to embrace friendship and, and, base, and, and those close bonds and relationships and... I really enjoy being there for people, and it's it's really benefited me in my life, and you know uh, I, I just definitely appreciate that. Um, so the fact that I can see him doing that, um, little just don't, don't forget you can't forget the details. The details were it was a sausage and pepperoni pizza, okay? So you gotta make the little sausages, and then you gotta put the whole pepperonis in there, and you can't you can't forget that stuff. Little dots in there for the pepperoni and whatnot. Bam. So, uh, yeah, I just, uh, little details. <laughs>
Um, I think the only thing I don't have is uh, he's wearing that karate shirt. Oh my gosh, like I wish I, I need to find the picture of it online and put it on here later on. I might take this guy into Photoshop later. Um, I haven't done it yet. Uh, so if I do, I'll definitely um, post up a link and, and say, hey, here's the Photoshop version of uh, Dustin. And, you know, I'm definitely going to plan on doing the rest of the crew because how could you just do one of these kids, you know? Like it's it's so many of them to be to, to work with here. But, um, yeah, so um, Dustin, by far, a great character. And um, I would definitely, you know, on a personal note here, you know, remember your friendships and uh, remember what people do for you because sometimes, like I said, you get caught up in, in everything and you get caught up in yourself. And uh, I think a, a one really amazing underlining message for this show was to, to just, you know, those bonds and those friendships that you have and um, how important they are and how much they do for you. And um, I just, I would definitely take this away from that show more than anything just because it, it means a lot. And um, I, I've been, I, I've only truly ever got by with um, the help of my friends, even even just recent events. It, it's been an immense type of, um, of aid. Um, at this point, you can kind of go back to the Beatles and say, you know, I get by with a little help from my friends and it, but the thing is it's true, it's very true. And um, that, that's just uh, one thing that I, I guess I would like to really highly, you know, talk about with Dustin and himself and I guess that's why I really enjoyed his character is the fact that he he cares like that and um, he's very very straightforward with his friends and um, it's very noticeable you know and he would go to the limits and he was you know the watcher oh you know what I have to talk about this scene too because it was awesome but that scene where he um they're prepping and he you know they're you know a uh, Lucas ends up bringing like a knife and all this other, you know, amazing gear. And uh, <laughs> uh, Dustin pops out with some Twinkies and this and that. And it's just, it made me laugh because it's like, you know, he, he's thinking we're going on an adventure and, you know, we're going to get hungry. <laughs> and it maybe it was more like, I'm going to get hungry. And if it, if it were that, then, I mean, it just it's just funny. Like, I, I really appreciate Dustin for that. And, um... Um, yeah, guys, so I'm, I'm going to close this guy up here in a second. Um, you know, he's. I'm not going to do color. Um, I'll eventually work up to it. Look for more videos, um, and I hope you enjoyed this one. So, um, Stranger Things, Dustin, um, overall loved the character, really enjoyed the development of him and the, um, the true friendship he brought to it, the comedic value. Uh, Dustin, amazing character um stranger things is a great show i definitely highly recommend it um i did drop some uh spoilers but i think it's been out long enough to where you guys can get it so uh also check out our um our break room blitz videos on youtube we've been we've been promoting and, and uh, we've been trying to kind of get our names out there because we really enjoy the the uh, film industry and um you know we, we definitely uh want to want to be more involved so we're, we're definitely uh, this is kind of a new little thing for me to do and and to kind of get my artistic capabilities out well while, while having fun so um break room blitz check us out we've got d anthony on there we've got a don and they nicknamed me the conch you know so um check it out i hope you enjoyed this video uh the next one i'm planning on doing is uh one for memorial for gene wilder uh so look to that one and i hope you enjoyed this all right guys thank you Take care. Ah, bye.